Are we out here? I do believe we out here. Make sure the audio sounds good and stuff. And send the link around and then we're gonna get started. How do we sound? Hey, what's up, Folly? It is like a Lou guy. How's it going? Do I sound good? Is the music too loud? Talk to me. Are my memes working? Hmm. I think so. Well, you're gonna have to let me know. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Smash that like button. The meme? Yep, yeah, the memes are ready. We're gonna transition into the stream shortly. We're gonna use this one. Spoiler alert. Is the music too loud? How do we feel about the music? It's the Doom music, so obviously we need to make it much louder. That's the... That is the move. Blue after dark, that's right. Louder. I'm a bit quiet. Uh hello. How's that? What if <laughs> what if I just make it peak the entire time? Music sounds fine to me. I'm a bit okay, the consensus is that I'm quiet. Hello, 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 we're tapped in. We're in the game. I'm going to scream now. No, I can't scream. I live in an apartment. My neighbors will call the cops. Excellent. As long as I am audible, then we're in the game. That's all that truly matters. We got a bunch of photos to edit tonight. And hey, you know, I was... It's kind of funny. Funny little story. I, uh... I posted this thing saying, like, Oh, would you prefer I stream in the afternoon or at night? And then, like, hours after I posted that, I realized I cannot stream in the afternoon anyway. So, <laughs> it was the illusion of democracy. Get the cops in here. Make it a... Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna get swatted tonight. It's gonna be excellent. Yeah, we have... There's a lot of shit in here. Um, there's also, like, kind of sneak peeky stuff for upcoming videos. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing the... Uh, the crap shoot about the Lomo Kino and putting together a workflow for that has been tremendously disastrous. But this is one of my strips actually. Uh, what I've started doing is kind of laying this huge TIFF file into Premiere and then like masking it and moving it up over and over again and then just throwing like an aspect ratio overlay on it. And it does 16 by 9 pretty nicely. Um, and it it, it looks surprisingly good. This was indoors at a studio with just natural light, and I thought it looked pretty cool. So that video is just taking way longer uh, <laughs> than I expected it to, because I don't know why I didn't think the post end of things would be a nightmare, but the post end of things were a nightmare. So, Folly, I did not do a motor yet, um, but that is the, the ultimate goal. I want to make some sort of motor for it. The, these were all hand cranked, so the frame rate is not the most consistent. Um, but I think to so going into this project, I was saying to myself, the ultimate goal is I want to shoot a music video fully on this thing. And just seeing how little footage one roll of film actually got me. Whereas I shot myself in a mirror with it too. I don't remember where that one is. Um, as I'm doing makeup. Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll find it eventually. Um, but just seeing, like, one roll of film is so minuscule. Like, if I were to do a three-minute music video, I would legitimately need, like... I didn't do the math, but I'm assuming, like, between 30 and 50 rolls of film. <laughs> so, yeah, a whole... Me yeah, I don't... Charlie, I don't know why I was thinking to myself that... It, oh, yeah, it wouldn't be a big deal. It's, it's gonna be a big deal. Um, so, my thing with the crapshoot 
is I think I want to shoot another roll and then make the video. Now that I kind of have my workflow down, I feel a lot better about it, but um, I still, I kind of want to do another roll and then I'm going to do like a video about it. And once I, you know, once I've have two rolls down and I kind of feel a little more confident, then it's time to start brainstorming and figuring out how to motorize it. Um, I saw the drill motor thing and I think the drill motor is kind of cool, but at the same time, it, it feels very destructive. Like, I don't want to completely destroy the thing either. Um, so I'm not sold on the drill. I saw something interesting that someone made with Legos. So I might be going more that route, um, but we'll see. But yeah, the, the music video is eventually the goal. I think that would be kind of cool to do with that. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where that is. So look for that in the coming weeks. That'll be that'll be an upcoming video. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, if I had, yeah, if I had a way to load up, to like bulk load it, that'd be. Si I will say this, bef you know, this is a spoiler alert to the craft shoot. Loading that thing is a pain in the ass. It is really annoying to load that thing. Like it, it took me a good like five ten minutes the first time I was putting the film in there, because you got to kind of like loop it under this metal thing, and it's just intuitively the film is bending the opposite way because you know it's like spooled up inside the cassette. Uh, so it yeah it was kind of annoying. Um, this is not necessarily a photo I have to edit, but I just figured I'd show it here. Um, I did an engagement shoot, and you'll see some of the photos, but, uh, I, I, believe it or not, sacrilege, I, I did shoot some Polaroid, and I gotta say, I was pretty, uh, I was pretty stoked with these, uh, with these two Polaroids. I actually, I gave them to the couple, but, um, I thought they, they came out pretty nice. And that was the Now Plus, by the way, which I will still make a video review of that. Those are, I said I had two videos left in the chamber in that I'm done with Polaroid video. One of them is the Polaroid Now Plus review, and then one of them is kind of like a tutorial on using the manual mode. So those will get done whenever they get done. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. When it works, it works. Yeah, those Horizon panel cameras, I've never used one of those, but it is kind of like that. Yeah, I have seen people, like I've seen videos of them being loaded, and it just seems like such a nightmare. Um, so yeah, before we get into editing the photos, I want to also call attention to... Uh, I might make a video about this, too. The Polaroid... Keith, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, I want to call attention to uh, a shoot that I did. Um, we did a, a, a collab. My friend that I went to college with, he's a makeup artist, and he wanted to shoot some like high-end makeup shit <laughs> and i got some really sick digital shots but i was using my mamiya for a roll of film and i totally screwed up um and i exceeded the maximum oh we got that nice epson scan line in there too i exceeded the maximum sync speed of the camera because i guess having the shutter speed printed in red wasn't a good enough indication for me so the the shots while i love the focus and they look really nice they are not at all evenly lit. Like if I do this, I'll just negative lab pro that real quick. You can see, right? Like the top half is lit beautifully and you got that beautiful, like medium format, shallow depth of field fall off. Like love the focus on the eye. I'm so thrilled about it. And then it's like, oh, uh -huh. guess, uh, guess it helps to light the photo. I mean, oh, this is like the best song from Doom. You know, if you like super crop it like that, then hell yeah, but. Yeah, I, and it, I mean, honestly, here's the thing. You could do, like, I talked about this on the last stream, how, like, when I shoot film, I try not to, like, over-edit things. If I were to go into... Oh, God, they always change shit in this... <laughs> God dang program. Um, if I throw, like, a gradient mask on the bottom here, probably a foot... Well, that's... Whoops. You know what I mean? Like you do some. I don't know. It would take some time to to kind of play around with it and figure it out, but something like that with a, a gradient mask might fix it. But all the more, it's kind of just like a learning thing. Like to me, that role's kind of like jacked, and I don't really want to 
spend the time fixing it because it was it was just it's one of those things like lesson learned next time we'll not make that same mistake um because you know the digital ones turned out and that's to them that's what really mattered you know like the 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 dude i was collaborating with he really wanted the digital ones so the film was kind of just extra and the lomo kino shit i shot was from that same shoot so yeah like the model kind of moving around in there so yeah that video will be the the lomo kino video will be coming soon and i, don't know, I might make a video about that shoot in general but uh, i just thought that was like a funny little anecdote uh, and then these shots are digital, very cringe, I know. Um, but I don't know, just wanted to show them somewhere. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video, but I got some nice astrophotography stuff uh, when I was away a couple weeks ago. So I just I love doing that. It's something I don't get to do often enough, but it makes me makes me happy. Might share them on Instagram. Who knows? Felt cute. Might delete later. You know what I'm saying? Very cool. <laughs> really great stuff. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into uh, let's get into editing some photos. I think one quick thing I'm gonna do before that is I'm going to do the ultimate cringe, and I'm gonna share this on Instagram. So I'm just bear with me one second. I'm on my phone, and I'm gonna get that link. I have copied the link. It's been copied, and I'm going to take a photo of my screen right now, and I'm going to say something like. Hey, I'm live. <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting, guys. We're gonna just show all the negatives, though. There we go. And let's not. Yeah, there it is. Oh, guys, if only you could see my screen right now. Live photo. Get it. Get in here. LOL. And then we'll do the link. Is this is this must be very exciting stuff for you guys. We're gonna put the link in right there. Peace. There you go. Boom. And then I'll add in in parentheses. Bali says hi. The chat. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. All right. And we're going to add that to my story. And then, and then, guys, we're in the game. Promise. Peak content right here. I agree, Customize. This is why you come to the, the Sweet Lou show. Uh, it's always a good time. Always a good time. Val, you were not too slow. I just didn't show the chat in the in the photo. It's just literally uh, a shot of... Um, I was going to call this Instagram. A shot of uh, the thing that I'm using. Lightroom. Lightroom is what this program's called. Excellent. Okay. We're it, guys. Truly, we're in the game. All right. Excellent. Welcome, Customize. Thanks for coming through. Uh, Keith is Excite. That's, that's really all that matters. Okay, so now we're, we're about to tap in. We're gonna do these photos. So this was from an engagement shoot I did recently. I went to Rhode Island for the day with my friends. And uh, if you guys follow the Dangle channel, uh, these are the grounds people. Like, you know that, that donut house I always go to? Nick is the guy who owns it. And uh, yo, what a fucking vibe, holy shit. <laughs> I am really stoked about how this photo came out. We're, guys, we're starting off strong today. I don't know about you, but... This was, um, Cine Still... No. I'm lying. I'm lying. I don't think this is Cine Still. I think this is... Hang on, I put it in the metadata. Okay, that's Fuji Pro 408. So this is from my secret stash of leftover Pro 400H, and I was shooting on the Mamiya. Uh, the Mamiya 645. That's right, Fun Cooker. There's some nice tones in here. I would scream tones, but my neighbors will call the police if I do it this time. Um, yeah, I am quite content with that. I don't even want to, like, fuck with it too much, to be honest. And, of course, you know me. We were... Oh, oh God, I hit the print button. Whoops. Um, while we were on the way there, I had to shoot this one because... It's a sign. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta go for those tones. Um, I don't want that, like a little... Dude, I love Pro 400H. I'm kind of very distraught that it's gone. This is kind of like, I'm running extremely low on my uh, on my supply. Um, 
very kindly some people sent a few rolls. Aroma and Ferret, if they're here, sent a couple of rolls to my P.O. box, and that was, like, super sweet because I made a video saying how much I love the film, and it was, like, another classic case of... Like, when I discovered uh, Polaroid Spectra film, and then, like, a month later, they were like, Oh, we're discontinuing it. That was that was pretty that was pretty rad. That was a fun fun uh thing. That image was fire. The the sign or or Nick and Nicole? And yes, that is not a meme, their names are Nick and Nicole. <laughs> Thank you either way, that's very kind of you. Wait, sorry, I'm like a little behind on the chat. What am I, what am I doing? Still being developed, but there's a guy making 35 millimeter. That's cool. I'm gonna have to look that up as well. Octo 35. That sounds familiar. How do you feel about big YouTubers starting to switch to film like Peter McKinnon? Are you? Ha uh. I don't know. If stolen valor is the right word. Um. I do think it's gonna be sucky that prices are probably gonna increase a lot. I'm not excited about that, but. You know, anything that gets people shooting is cool. I think that's that's a net positive. Um, uh, can we talk about this song right now, though? Uh, the other big thing, because I was kind of talking about this to a few of my other buddies who do YouTube, and, like, I... Ooh, that looks like shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, as you guys can probably tell, a lot of times I can't, like, uh, do two things at once. Um... I think it's cool, but I also would be surprised if uh, the people who are doing the film thing, who are like mainly digital, if they're gonna stick with it, you know? That's kind of my two cents on that one. But uh, hey, the more the merrier. I think that's like a little crease in the negative, like a little bendy bend, which is not, let me tell you, that's not ideal, but we might have to come back to this one. I'm not in love with this shot anyway, honestly. I don't love these little tree titties down there, and uh, normally when I shoot film I wouldn't do something like that, but that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about that, like, we just, ooh, I'm gonna do that, do that, and that, alright, she gone, something like that, I think I might need to rescan this one either way though, but that, that makes me, that makes me happy. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I shot this out of my car window, so I, I'm not too, like, married to that photo anyway. Okay. Yeah, Folly, please drop that video. I appreciate that. Just don't let them touch the digicams. Customize, I agree. We gotta protect the one that plays Doom. <laughs> yeah, Folly, I think you did, because that name does sound familiar. Prices increase. Charlie... You know, like, la I think it was last year, where, like, you legit could not get Portra for, like, the entire year. Like, that's what I'm not looking forward to about it, because you're gonna... I think the the two sides of it is... And I'm not trying to throw shade. I don't really care what people do with their photos, but some of the people who are jumping into it now are, like, editing the piss out of their photos, and I think people... I just can you, oh, okay. I was just looking at the stream window and I was like, "Am I not showing negative lab, bro?" Um, I thought it was getting cut off. Uh, you know, people are editing the shit out of their photos, and then like, people who are just starting out are gonna shoot and then be like, "Wow, my photos don't look anything like this. I hate this. Like, this sucks." And then you have people buying a bunch of cameras, people buying a bunch of film, and then like, not really sticking with it, which is also not good because then you get like less of a supply. And, uh, you know, then people just quitting, like, prices of cameras are probably going to go up to you. So, like, all in all, I think it's a good thing that more people are shooting film because it ensures the longevity of film. But in the short term, it might make everything a lot more expensive, which is never fun because everything's already very expensive. I quite like this shot. The building is slightly... Is that? I don't know. I have a problem with, like, straightening out my horizon. That Yeah, it's a little... It's a little off, but... I like that. I like the way the car is cropped. It's kind of cool. And that Vespa. You're going to see a few more of this because we shot this a few times. Yeah, Follow, you're right. I, I don't know why I get so, like, hung up about editing film photos. Like, I just... I don't know. 
it feels kind of like cheating a little bit to me and i know it's not i because like you know like you look at like contact sheets from from the greats and obviously they edit you know they burn they dodge they do all sorts of shit. but i don't know it's kind of like like why do i play doom eternal on nightmare mode right you know what i mean it's like i don't have to do that but i have to do that i went to my local camera store and kodak gold was 25 dollars oh god see that's that's the shit i'm talking about right there the kodak gold should not be 25 dollars. that's absolutely insane and i think an issue that's going to happen too is like you don't want people to stop shooting film because it's like prohibitive like it's so expensive that you can't afford to shoot it anymore because you know long run that's way worse you know what i mean it's good to have more people in the game but if you, if no one can afford it, it's gonna crash. You know what I mean? And then you, it's like you're gonna have a film recession. I just watched an interview that said I don't know if there will be color film in ten years. Yeah, see that's that's a scary thought. Yeah, I don't I don't like that very much. So this was <laughs> this was their idea. Is, we saw, like this is just some random person's house in Rhode Island, and they wanted to just kind of like do a classic. It looks like I missed focus anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, but they wanted to do like this kind. Of, yeah. Well, at least the car is in focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that kind of sucks. Oh well, it's fine. I uh, I'm not in love with the posing anyway, and we got it on digital. I'm not going ham with that photo because I'm not in love with it. Although I am going to give them all the film. They made their selects of like what photos they actually want out of the set. Um, Cause like, you know, they're also video and photo people. So it's kind of a little bit different. It's not like working with like a regular client. You know what I mean? And we're buddies, so. But for the film ones, I'm just going to give them everything. I love this setup right here this is one of those like photos where i could have like just sat there and shot it for like 16 million hours because i'm just i have problems yeah folly i agree and i'm also i am just not i have a problem when it comes to squaring horizons i that is definitely one of the things that i struggle with and like i try to be mindful of it you can also see in this one, I have a problem with... I oh, kind of can't see that one based on where the stream window is, actually. Um, I'm going to squish Lightroom up a little bit so you can see it better. I have a problem with cutting negative straight, too. <laughs> and I just need to wait for the stream to catch up. Yeah, customize, I agree. I'm not in love with the sign. Uh, that is something, you know, to consider cutting out. But, again, I'm kind of... Kind of torn with doing that on film. Oh, of course, I got Nicole blinking. That's another thing. The two things I think I'm the worst with is uh, getting people mid blink and getting things to be straight. But yeah, I'm not in love with that. I love the the pose and the setup though. That's pretty damn cool. So we ended, we did like that street with the car. We did the bar where the bartender was super cool about letting us shoot there. We just asked and he had a mullet and he literally, I can't make this shit up. He was literally like, hell yeah, brother. It was kind of sick. Um, and then we went to this state park at the end. See, horizon crooked. I don't know. You ever hear that thing that some people like they can't, like their eyes, like they can't figure it out. Like, I think that's me. Like I have, I'm Johnny fuck eyes over here. Yeah, yeah, uh, and see, this one is pretty... Okay, so I know I said I'm probably going to give them all the film photos. I don't think I'm giving them this one, because this one, the focus, is a little too soft. Hell yeah, brother. What's up, Infernal Capricorn? Thanks for coming through. Yeah, that's, that's, that is, uh, that is soft. That is unacceptable. Oh, uh, you know what would be a good meme to load into the... I'm gonna reject that one actually. A good meme would be to load in the this would be the lemon grab from Adventure Time saying unacceptable. 
But for now, we're just gonna have to leave it with. Uh, no. We'll have to do. We'll have to settle for that for now. But I am thinking about more memes to add to the to the playlist. I also probably have the memes assembled in like the crudest of manners on my OBS. I'm sure someone who's actually good at streaming would look at my setup and be like, "Oh, what are you doing?" So those who might be wondering, this is the uh, Doom Eternal Ancient Gods workout mix. <laughs> F. Focus a little soft on Nicole too. That bouquet is so sick though. If I think the frame of a photo is a shot, I'll just let it be off axis. I'm not. If not, I'm pretty okay with it. Yeah, exactly. Correcting the horizon is not a not a big deal. And again, I really I don't know why I get so like nutty about it. It's really not a big deal to uh to edit your shit. I don't really care. But I guess I do. I guess that's a lie. I guess I do care because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Kind of looks like she's holding a severed arm. Nop top, uh, she was. Uh, we killed we killed Nick later that day. I'm just kidding. YouTube and the CIA. That was a joke. Nick is alive and well. I will be delivering the photos to him. Yeah, customize. It is the workout mix. I actually, I did the gym earlier. Normally I'm a night owl when it comes to going to the gym. Um, but... Because I, I said to myself, I'm going to stream. I'm not going to let the precious little eggies down. So I went to the gym earlier. Thanks for coming, by the way, Noptop. Good to hear from you. I hope the uh, hope your car is back in the game. Killed in Minecraft. <laughs> Noptop is indeed here. Yeah, I... I don't know. I mean, where we live, you know, there's a gym attached to it, so I don't really have an excuse. But uh, the Sweet Lou Photography Extended Cinematic Universe lore is about to develop because we have to move because they raised our rent uh, to a ridiculous level. So we will be moving very soon. I think I might do a, a video where I shoot some photos in the apartment before we leave to kind of like commemorate the time here. Oh, come on now. This photo is pretty sick. Damn, dude. I love my Mamiya. I, I cannot explain to you how much I love that camera. Like, I don't nail focus 100% of the time, but man, when I get shit right, like, that camera just feels really good. Her hair is a little whoop, but I love this shot. I really, I'm very happy with how that one turned out. Cause the thing too is like, you know, you pixel peep like when you're in Lightroom, it's hard not to, but you know, if they just print this shit out and put it on their wall, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of, that's kind of where my head is as a photographer. Like it's hard not to pixel peep, but you know, thank you so much Infernal. Keef too. Thank you. Thank you. I go to the gym in the afternoon with the old people. It's great. I get asked every time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty fun. I, yeah, I don't know. I like going to the gym at night because the, the chance of encountering people is much lower. And uh, it's not that I'm adverse to social interaction, but I uh, the people I co-inhabit this apartment complex with are like creatures. And like today I went to the gym and someone set the thermostat to 84 degrees in the summer, like and for those of you who are not in America, I'm sorry, but I don't know what that is in Celsius. But the point is, it's hot. Um, it was, it's very, very not cool. Uh, literally. Ha 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 ha. Um, so that's why I like going when no one's around. Because it's like, I don't have to go to the gym with these weirdos who want it to be a sauna. But hey, you know, you do you. If you like your gym to be an oven, that's fine. But uh, do it when I'm not there, please. Uh, medium format. Wait, oh, 80, yeah, 80, 
I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you were asking about the lens for a second. Yeah, 84 degrees. It was just like, yeah, I'd be... Well, I, I didn't throw hands. You'll be happy to know I did not throw hands today. But uh, I considered it heavily. Yo, this music's getting me hype right now. I'm not going to lie. Everyone's... Yeah, I mean, hey, you know. I'm not going to lie. When I, you know, you go to the gym, you tap in. I'm a little bit of a smelly boy. You know, it's part of the game, but... That looks a little too apparent. Need to. I need to figure out something with. What? Oh, that was weird. Uh, I need to figure out something with my archival situation because I feel like I do still get kind of like marks on the film pretty regularly. There we go, that's pretty good. It's a lot better than it used to be. Like I've I've managed the dust significant <laughs> the dust like from Interstellar. Um, I've managed the dust a lot better than I used to, but it's still kind of a problem. Everyone has a <laughs> literally a terrarium. Yeah, but it's okay. I you know I I put the thermostat to a normal level and uh, everything was fine. My favorite though is when you're at the gym and someone's like making ninja karate noises and they're like lifting and it's like, ah! you know, like shit like that. That's, that's always fun. That's when I think, okay, you're getting a little silly, you're getting a little, getting a little out of hand here. Oh, I like that. This, I like, I like this a lot. This makes me feel good. This is like a nice, like. Yo, I don't care how many times I do this. Halations on the water, I'm gonna do it every time. That clip, yeah, Keith, I strongly agree. Uh, Cause I, I cannot say the word dust without thinking of that scene. I, I can't do it. And I, listen, it may not be clear from the way I use that meme in my videos, Interstellar is literally one of my favorite movies of all time, but the way that kid says the dust is the fucking weirdest thing ever. I love it. It's like the one part of that movie that's just like, what? <laughs> what the hell happened there? If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, just go on YouTube and search for uh, Interstellar, the dust. It's this scene and like they're talking and there's like the piano going and everything. And this kid just goes, <coughs> the dust. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best scene. We've got these little people over here. Get out of my photo, huh? <laughs> yeah, so if you can't tell, I didn't shoot the whole roll on them. Uh, so I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, because these were like the big sunset energy shots of them. And uh, this is also Pro 400H. I did shoot a roll of Cine Still 400D as well, um, but I think that came a little later on, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Keith, I agree, it is a classic indeed. Oh, she's like fucking with her hair there. Oh, and you got the Epson scan line. This is just a big old. I have to re scan that. Let's hit the big reject on that one. I felt like this, yeah, I can see it. You see the scan line there? Oh, man. Oh, I thought I was done scanning for tonight, but that's a nice shot, though. That's cool. That's going to be nice when there's not a magenta line going down it. Like something like that. Keep it nice and warm. Oh, maybe, all right, maybe not that one. Hey, guys, I shot some <laughs> chrome purple. Something like that. That's nice. Have you, will you ever use a film rangefinder? Yes, uh, I have. I think I, I want to say I made a video about it. I used the Canon QL17 for a little bit. I like that camera a lot. I'm just really not used to rangefinder focusing. 
Um, and I also have on my shelf, which I have yet to make a video about, um, the Yashica Electro 35 GSN, something or other. Great. Damn, I'm gonna have to like rescan half this roll. Holy shit. Dude, this line, the line, it, uh, that's such a pain in the ass. I'm so upset. I'm about to start screaming. I was really excited to see how this photo came out because, um, okay. Let me take your time, Lightroom. That's fine. There was a bird. And I was like, ooh, bird. So I was hoping that this one came out well. It was a bootleg. It was, <laughs> that's sick. Oh my god, I'm very happy with that. I think it's it's a little off center. I kind of want to crop it in a little bit. Other than that, I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah, brother. Keep a little bit of that purple in there. Something like that, maybe? I don't want to keep their heads on the third. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like it. So for a shot like that, would you ever go in and edit the bird? Do you mean like remove the bird? Because that's what I like about it. You don't know about the bird? I like the bird. I mean, the bird, look, the bird, it's easy as that. Bird gone. We killed the bird, guys, but I like the bird. Oh, turn get long ways. See, that's kind of where the, the bird is. The word that is correct. Um, bird. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. I got one for you. What the oh, hell shit. is oh, even oh, that? Oh no. I meant to click that. <laughs> this is this is a disaster. Um, knob top for. Turning the bird horizontally, I don't think I would... I was kind of talking about editing film too much earlier on the stream, actually. That would kind of probably be like a, ooh, I don't know if I'd want to do that. I kind of, I don't know, maybe it would look better horizontally. Build the sky with birds. See, now that, now we're talking... I think what this photo needs is a lot more birds. <laughs> it would be like the, the, the birdhouse. We'll just have like an army of birds. I like that idea. I think we might need to skip ahead on this Doom playlist a little bit. Skipping ahead. If I get an ad, I'm gonna scream. Okay, good. Guys, we're, we're fine. Clone stamp burb. Yeah, that's, that's the move, honestly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we went a little out of order there. And that's always a scary prospect. Because we gotta listen. We got a lot of shit to do, um, but it's always fun, and it's I find it a lot more fun to do these live stream photo edit sessions, because social, you know, we get to talk a little and talking our yeah, you know what, this needs more birds. I see. I think that's exactly how that movie happened, honestly. Dude, I've got. Pro 400 is just beautiful. I feel like I feel like I barely need to touch the sliders, like, and I'm just like in love. I think they're gonna like it too. I think they're gonna be like, ooh. Alright, this was I went for I remember this one specifically. I went for one of those like trendy foreground out of focus shots. Well let's see if it pays off. Put a battery for my Canon ES8200V and it's so big it goes past it. Oh, that's a bummer. Some of those old batteries are kind of odd. I wish the sun was a little bit lower in the frame. I think that would have looked a lot cooler. Be a lot cooler if you did. Oh. Eh. 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 Cooler in my head. No bird in this one. How's it going, Madeline? Thanks for coming by. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think I think every one of these photos needs a bird now. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a we're gonna add a bird, add bird to all photos. That Milky Way shot, swarm of birds. 
Right? That's what you if you have if you if you open the door to your house, your apartment, your your private domicile, and you see a thousand birds flying towards you, what what word do you use to describe that? Because I would say swarm, but when I say swarm, I think of like bugs. What would you call a thousand birds? All new sweet lube vids need more birds. Put a bird on it. I think this one could work. Yeah, yeah, not. Nah, I kind of agree, actually. Yeah, like some sort of. And I think they might actually print some of these. I think at least one of them is probably going to be used for like a save the date wedding invitation thing. But yeah, a collage might really help that one, actually. A flock. A flock. Dude, of course, a flock. Yes, ravens are called a murder, which is... That's fucking metal. I love that. A thug and a bird. <laughs> I'm a fan. I could use the bird as my artistic signature. Yeah, that's true. I could be the bird guy. You know, people are like, wow, that photographer is so talented. And they'll talk about me and be like, he, he likes birds. <laughs> that guy, he's all about the birds. Oh, come on now. I feel like I need to set up the face cam just so you can see the head banging, because you, you don't understand what this music does to me. Actually, I believe it's a murder of... Oh, it is crows. I think you're right, yeah. Yo, the metal choir in this is beautiful. A flock of seagulls is a colony? Wait, what? I told this to my brother and he thought I was messing with Oh, that in, in reference to the murder. Uh, so wait, the appropriate term for multiple seagulls is a colony? So you would say, oh look, a colony of seagulls? Is that, am I understanding this correctly? I like that one bird guy's photo. Exactly, I'm the bird guy. A group of, okay, now Mez, I, I don't know if that, I don't know if I believe that. That a group of flamingos is a flam flamboyance. I I don't I don't know if that's scientifically accurate. <laughs> a flock of yeah, a flock of seagulls is an '80s new wave band. That is un undoubtedly true. <laughs> Guys, how about we just play Doom instead of this? Wait, we're not going to that photo yet. That was a spoiler alert for later. Are these photos out of order? I'm gonna scream. What is happening? Where are the 400D photos? Oh! Guys, I found the 400D photos. Man, Lightroom is like slowing down a little bit. My, this is not my... So I updated Lightroom. Oh, big mistake. And it deleted my catalog. I had like 15,000 before. And I just never bothered to like re re beep boop them. And uh, this photo is like seven or 8,000 now. And it's, you can feel it. It's starting to be like, oh, like every time I, I do any function in this program, Adobe is like, ha, ah, why are you doing that? Settle down, don't do that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's play back. <laughs> yeah, Keith, we wouldn't be able to get a game because it would just be <laughs> you and me. Uh, birds about to colonize our land. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about a, a colony of seagulls. That's a colony of seagulls has to be a shitty flock of seagulls cover band, though. I do like that idea. A group of ravens is called an unkindness. But you can also a ra I like a rave. It's kind of sick. The collective noun for seagulls being a colony makes sense since <laughs> rats. <laughs> That's true. As far as birds go, seagulls are not very pleasant. Do you ever overlay two separate film photos to make a digital double exposure? Uh, I have not, but I could. We could do. We could literally. We have the technology. We could do that right now. If you see, we'll play it this way. If you see two that you think would look cool, call them out, and we'll we'll do it. And you could see here. My left-handedness is really showing the way I cut that negative. Yeah, fun fact, if you guys didn't already know. I don't, I feel like I've mentioned it on the channel before. I am a lefty. 
just another fun Lou fact. So if you're ever asked questions, you know, if you're ever on a game show and they're like, Famous film photographer, Sweet Lou, who photographs birds. What? What's? Is he a Southpaw? Uh, do you think shooting film on Mars will result in positive negatives? Lefty unsub. Uh, I don't know why shooting film on Mars would result, unless I'm missing a joke there. Am I missing a joke? Could be missing a joke there. You ever read The Martian? That book, and then they made the movie about it? That book was really good. I was a big fan of that book. And then I, I made the big mistake, though. I read the book before I saw the movie. And then when I saw the movie, and they cut my favorite part of the book out, and I was like, oh, why'd they do that? And, uh, and that's, you know what the moral of that story is? Don't read. Never read a book again. Quote me on that. No joke. Every oh, and the base of the film is orange. It read. Huh. Alright, so here's the new plan for the channel. We're going to get in good with Elon Musk, and then he's going to launch me to Mars, and we'll find out. And then I'll make, like, a Mr. Beast-style opening. I went to Mars to see if... <laughs> I'm glad that everyone got that joke except me. That's good. I'm glad that I'm the only one in this chat that was like, Oh, what's the joke, guys? Yeah. That's cool. Alright, so... I think we've talked about birds enough. What what games are you guys playing right now? What's, what's the video game that's uh, changing your life? I like those halations. Going to Mars be, means you'll be in... Uh, I mean... I think the bigger thing with going to Mars is A, the time commitment, and B, like, the likelihood of actually coming home. I don't know. I don't know if I like my odds. Going to the moon seems a lot more feasible. I mean, granted, I know absolutely nothing about space travel or anything. Um, but the moon seems like, it's kind of like, like when you're going on a big hike, right? Like, you know, you want to start off, you're like, yeah, hey, I'm going to do the smaller one first, you know, make sure I'm up for this. And then, and then you, you know, you move up and you're like, yeah. Like when, when I was in uh, Utah, I did Angel's Landing, which that hike was insane. And like now... I think you actually need a permit to hike it because since we did that hike i think two or three people have died and uh when i got to that like that upper part of angel's landing and you look at so if i dive on my hard drive i can probably find photos of it but there's a section where you're going up these rocks and there's just a chain and that's it and you hold on to that chain and you just go up these rocks and there's people coming down and people going up and it's like, you let go, you're just, you're dead. That's it. This has a scan line in it. Uh, sorry, let's look at the chat. Maybe the portrait of a couple inside a shot in the ocean will make... Okay, we'll check that out. Let me, uh, I have my notepad right here. Let me write that down. Because I'm also the type that if I don't write it down, it's gone. I, you know, just out of my stupid little brain. Battle bit and some VR stuff. Let's talk about VR. I've never experienced it. What are you playing? You ever played No Man's Sky on VR? That'd probably be really cool. I'm a fan of... What's PVZ? What's that? I don't know that one. Wait, Plants vs. Zombies? In, if that's the case, I know that one. Uh, can't wait for Marvel Spider-Man 2. There's a German I know we've been playing. Mini golf. That's cool. Finally started my Stardew. Yes, Stardew's the best. Our stream is out. I ran into Marnie while she was <laughs> having some photos. I think you mean not Marnie. Oh my God, what's her name? The blonde one. Ooh, Haley. Marnie's the animal. The the one. <laughs> Marnie's the animal. Marnie's the one who sells the animals. Um, that feels good, Marvin. <laughs> Yo, the front bottoms? Come on now. Wasn't so dangerous. What am I gonna... What's the Devil's Highway? Is that the one in Yosemite? 
That, if that's the one I'm thinking of, that one is crazy. I don't know that I'd ever do that one. It actually years ago before it got good. I hear the font. Yeah, No Man's Sky is kind of sick. Uh, no Man's Sky has developed immensely, and the, the expeditions are really, really fun. If you haven't tried those, I definitely recommend. They do these expeditions now where basically the whole community at once gets to start a new game together, so it's like... It definitely incentivizes people who haven't played in a long time to come back. But they give you like these very specific missions on a time limit and you get to like encounter other players as they're going through the same thing. It's it's pretty cool and now they're kind of in the middle of this long form story. So like they're creating more story content, which is pretty cool. And it's all still free, which is like unheard of these days. And yeah, Plants vs. Zombies. After I asked, I, that was one of those things, you ever like ask and then you immediately know what the answer is and then it's like, oh, why did I do that? What's Asphalt 9? That one I don't know. Yeah, it was Haley. Come on, Keith. Yo, I totally know Dinkum. I've played Dinkum. Keith is actually really into Dinkum. Or was. I don't know how much... Dinkum hasn't updated in quite a while, so that's I've I was really into it because it, it made me think of Animal Crossing a lot, and Animal Crossing is one of my favorites. But I feel like I don't know Dinkum just like I kind of ran out of stuff to do. But that's it. Ooh, that's probably not that's not exactly what I wanted to do there. Uh, the thing with Dinkum is like I I, uh, I really loved exploring and like going all around that island, but it just kind of felt like. After you had your shit set up, it was like, okay, now what? I think I took this... I don't remember when I took this photo online. I was gonna say when I was on the way to see Oppenheimer, but... I don't think that's true. Yeah, Dinkum's cool, though. I definitely... I definitely would go back to, to Big Dinks. <laughs> the Dink! That's just a snapshot. I think I just needed to finish the roll, to be honest, and that's why I shot that one. As cringe as that is. Bali, you do. Oppenheimer is really excellent. Am I ever am I ever gonna do an underwater shoot? Uh funny you should say that, because on my horrific shelf of things that I have to do eventually. Um, I have a disposable underwater camera, so eventually. However, uh, I'm not a great swimmer. I don't. I don't love going to the pool or the beach. So, it'll be an experience in its own way. But yeah, I think the bigger thing is I got to figure out what the hell I would shoot. You know, that's kind of the the bigger thing there. Devil's Highway is a trail in Arizona that. Oh. There's one similar to that in Arches National Park. I think it's called the Blazing Inferno or something like that. And that's another one where you need a uh, a permit to actually do that hike because of how intense it is. And that's one, it's like, I was talking to the park ranger and they were saying like, yo, it's not even that it's that long. It's just that there's literally no coverage from the sun. So you're just, the sun is hitting you the entire time. When we were out there, it was every day. It was like over over a hundred degrees. I don't care. I don't like this shot very much, um, but yeah, it's part of the game. But yeah, those. I don't know that that part of the country, man. Like Arizona and Utah, man. That's some of my favorite scenery in the country. It's so beautiful over there. Got a little bit of a light leak on this one. Very fun. I'm being sarcastic if you, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah, these two are nothing to write home about. I'm not in love with those. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting over Rhode Island. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get tired of looking at these. We might have to move on soon. That might be the plan. I also might have to switch into standing desk mode in a second because been sitting now. It feels like my ass is asleep. I've never been to New Mexico, and that is a, a tragedy. We got a we got a scan line there. Uh, that is a big tragedy because Breaking Bad is like my religion, so I gotta go to New Mexico, you know, for uh, 
for the Breaking Bad, you know? Gotta go see the monuments. One of my friends went there, actually, and she had a hot dog at the, you know, the, the hot dog stand where they do all, like, their meth deals and stuff, and Jesse buys the gun. There's another scan line. Awesome. Um, she had a hot dog there, which I thought was pretty beautiful. She was doing Route 66 at that time, which is another, like, goal of mine. She come by the Bay Area. Uh, I do have a friend out in that general vicinity, so maybe one day he did offer me a, uh, he's got a spare room, so maybe. Don't, yeah, I would absolutely, I would go insane over there, because like, I would just be driving around being like, oh, that's Saul Goodman's office, you know, like, and I'm sure every tourist over there is like, ooh, there's the house, let's throw a pizza on it. I don't know if you saw that article when the show was still airing, but they were saying that, like, they had to put up a fence over there because of how many people were throwing pizzas at that, the, the Breaking Bad house. And all I can say is, you know, what if we held hands and threw a pizza at the Breaking Bad house? Yeah, I would love to go see Los Pueblos Hermanos, so that'd be sick. Take a photo there. Get some chicken. Because it is a real spot. And it's obviously not call, called, you know, Boyos, but it is still a real place, which is very cool. Yo, these scan lines are making me want to scream right now. I really thought this roll was fine. It looks like it's just this one, though, which is, you know, thankful because it's, you know, it's 120, so it's not like I have to scan a whole roll of 35. Going up to the town where they made the nuclear bomb was a... Oh, that's sick, yeah. It's still a pro- that's crazy. I mean, listen, Breaking Bad's iconic, I get it, but I would be so pissed if, like... See, I I don't know, because on the one hand, it's like, if you buy that house, like, you know what that house is. There's no way you don't know. It's like, like you know the, the album cover of, um, that's a cool shot. Um, that American football album, they have the house on that album cover, and, uh... The, the aroma and ferret in the discord we're talking about this like the owners are super cool and they let people take pictures of it and it's like part of this emo um road trip thing like and i think if i remember correctly i think the band actually bought it recently i think they were moving and the band and the label someone could fact check me on that but i think i read that somewhere that now they own the american football house which is cool the owners had a runoff so many people were trying to do it even to the point where they would... Yeah, so that, that's kind of shitty. That's really shitty. If someone threw a Chicago pizza... Yeah. That'd be funny if you had like a, like a thick-ass pizza and it just went through the ceiling. It's like you go in there in your garage and there's just a pizza that's through a, like a pizza-shaped hole. I guess that would be called a circle. Uh, in your roof. I don't know. I'm not a uh, geometry expert, though. Straighten that out a little bit. That's a little, a little too far there. Yeah, that's cool. And there's no scan line, guys. That's a big deal. Excellent. Oh, guys, it's a seagull. I wonder where his colony is. Guys, we know that that's called a colony now, thanks to tonight. I hope we all learn something about seagulls tonight. <laughs> That's a, that's a, I would classify this under a snap shit as well, and it has a scan line, so we're moving on. Okay, excellent. Alright, very cool. Guys, I need a quick second. I need to get some water, so don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I'll be back in one second.
All right, I hope nobody did anything crazy while I was gone. Hope everyone just did what I would do. All right, time to eat cheese and sit. Uh, a frozen piece of cookie. Okay. Wait. Okay, I missed a bunch of stuff. Hang on. I gotta. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. A large Chicago style pizza would go right through. I've never had Chicago style deep dish. I've never had it before. I've never been to Chicago. That's a lie. I've been in the airport in Chicago, but I've never been to Chicago. Frozen pizza, yeah, we cook over time. Ed yeah, educational. That's what we aim for, educational. Time to eat cheese. Time to eat cheese and sin. That's honestly, yeah. Bird up. <laughs> Anyone have any cool photo shoots recently? Uh, yeah, I've, I've done a few. I did a few, uh, like I said, I did that, that makeup shoot. I did the engagement shoot. I was traveling a little bit, so I shot some national park stuff. I have a couple more uh, in the future, in the next couple weeks that I'm going to be doing as well. And um, I have some film, some video stuff, not film photography stuff. Oh shit, my thing just said OBS disconnected. I hope we're still alive. That's a... never seen that message before. That's scary. Uh, I've been having fun doing pixel shifts of... Rent. That's cool. Nothing digital. Oh, we've been a fan of yours for a while. Question, have you ever shot Cine Still 50D? I have. Uh, I will, short story is I love 50D. There's definitely 50D in some of my videos. If, I just honestly could not tell you which one's off the top of my head, but it's an awesome film. Um, obviously, as the name implies, Daylight. Like, I would not recommend shooting it like indoors because it's only 50 ISO, but uh, I love that film. It looks really cool, and especially... If you're into the halations, um, getting any kind of reflective surface during the day looks wild. So like chrome bumpers on a car, like reflective vests, traffic cones, like anything that's going to give like a really hot source of light towards the camera will give you really cool halations in the daytime. I think it looks great. It's been too hot for me to get out too much shooting lately. It's been raining hard on top of that. Yeah, the weather has been nutty. Pixel shift that's uh, higher. Re oh, see, I actually thought you were talking about one of those. Um, do you ever see those digital cameras that are like modified so they make everything all like pixelated and like? There's someone on Instagram I follow who does it. It like glitches out the photos and it looks really cool. I thought you were talking about that actually. Camera can move. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about, Polly. That's cool. Bali stands in. Yeah, well, I agree. That's, I mean, that's the move. I'm from the East Coast, so I have to say that. And Chris is great, yeah. Chicago pizzas are, I prefer New York style, Detroit. I've never, yeah, I've, well, I've never been to Detroit either, so. The good Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference in waiting there, though, where uh, Frylock says, oh boy, Detroit. So, if you get that reference, you're gonna have to let me know in the chat. Yeah. Seriously, 50D is so cool. I'm a really huge fan. What film is this? What's happening? Hang on, I can't wait. Hang on. Oh, it's 800T. Okay, I was gonna say, why is it, why is it hailating so much? Yeah, got that nice snow hailation. That's kind of cool. This doom music's getting a little intense for this stream. We might need to chill it out a little bit. I don't know. You guys tell me how you're feeling. Might come back to that. I'm not in love with that, but <laughs> oh boy, Detroit. Keith knows what's up. We also might be winding it down a little bit soon, so I think I think that would be appropriate to. Uh... Oh, I hang on. I can't skip this song though. Oh man, this makes you want to play Doom. How could you not? By the way, my stream didn't go down, right? No one disconnected or anything? OBS was like, ooh, but I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. Oh, come on, this, this music is just nutty. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna open another tab of music, so if that plays for a second. Okay, perfect, it didn't play, we're totally fine. Totally fine. All right, so after this song, we're gonna switch over to a little bit chiller vibe, and we'll start to wrap up a little bit. Still live. Nothing. See, that's what I like to hear. Excellent. This is excellent news. 
Guys, I dare say episode three might be the best episode of the Sweet Lou show yet. We learned about birds. We learned about Detroit style pizza. That's crazy how hailated that got. Uh, we're still here, still selling fake doors. That's what I like to hear. Detroit style pizza is the embodiment of Prime Motor City. Huh. That's kind of cool. I was I was about to joke and say so what it's made out of car parts. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, oh, this is live. Nopta, fell on now. That's a good one. This song goes so hard. I'm such a huge fan. This soundtrack is so iconic, and people who don't listen to this regularly, what are you doing? What are you doing? A lot of marks on this. I have to spend a little time cleaning that up. That's the the one thing about all these newer repackaged films is uh, you get light leaks. You get people like me who can't cut their negatives in a straight line. I need to get you ever you know those things that like they would cut paper with like in an art you know like if you were in school. This like straight edges. I need to get that, but for negatives. I stop cutting them. Yeah. Reviewers have said it was pretty lit. Yeah, I, I'll say. That, that's in reference to the pizza, I assume? Are we still on the pizza? <laughs> oh, are you talking about the episode? If so, thank you. That's very kind. You know, many of you know from watching the channel that I'm a huge fan of Halations. This might be one of the few times where I think it's a little much. Where I think it's a little, it's a little, we might be a little too halated. There's one photo in particular I was curious about. Cause, uh, <laughs> as you know, gas stations. So the company Reflex Lab, they actually sent me their new light meter to test out. And I was following their light meter exactly. So like I didn't, I didn't, you know, I just pressed the button and whatever it said, I shot it. And I gotta say, I am, I was skeptical of the setting that it was uh, recommending at the time, but I am quite pleased with this. And just for the record as well, these photos that we're looking at right now, this night shot right here, and the one I'm about to edit, these are um, Reflex Lab Pro 100 film, 35 millimeter. I forget, it's it's a re-spooled film. Um, I forget what the base is. I will, when I make, I'm gonna make a video about it. I will include that information, but uh, it is cheap film and it looks pretty cool. So putting that one out there when film prices go through the roof and you gotta pay the, the Peter McKinnon tax on it, hit up Reflex Lab. They are super kind, like they, did not have to send me anything, and they did because they, I guess they watched the channel or whatever, which is just very generous of them. So take that, you know, into consideration as well. It's not like they're paying me to say anything, obviously, but they are very nice to me. <laughs> That's always on the feet. I picked up the KH2 light meter a few months before the re- Yeah, I think they're, those are pretty similar, honestly. And I can't find it that so Yeah, honestly, the, the Reflex Lab one is so tiny that I was afraid of losing it too. But so far, so good. I have not lost it. Um, but give me time. I might. It, it Honestly, it works pretty well. Um, the only thing about it that I was not super into is if you use it at night, it's very difficult to see because um, there's no sort of, uh, what's it called? Like there's no like backlighting on it. So it's kind of like playing the Game Boy Color in your parent's car. And you got to use like the street lights as they pass by to illuminate the screen. Because other than that, you can't see goddamn thing. A lot of marks on this film. That's the, the one thing I'll say about, wait, is that, those might actually be clouds. Um, so, Reflex Lab. That could have been a smoother transition, I'm not gonna lie, but... We're on Animal Crossing now, guys. My two favorites. Um... I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> um... 
but yeah, I, I find going back to Reflex Labs, um, Reflex Lab Singular. That's their actual name. I always call them the wrong thing as well. I actually had to re-record like an entire voiceover because I the entire video called them the wrong thing. Um, I find that whatever they do to like reload their film into the new cassettes, they're a lot more prone to light leaks than uh, Cine Still. Like I've, I've had a lot more frames where it's like, yeah, this is a little, uh, this shit's a little sussy baka, you know? Also, I, not in love with the composition. I just had to shoot this because of the color of the water. I was like, that's honestly very accurate to what I saw in real life. So I'm very happy that that was captured the way I saw it. That's really cool. Thank you, Charlie. That's very kind about Reflex. Yeah, they're they're super cool. They they you know we talk on Instagram every now and then, and uh, I shoot the shit you know every now and then. I'll be like, yo, it's a cool photo, and yeah, they. The only way we actually connected was um, I I just bought a roll of their film and made the video, and then they they like put it on their website and shit. It was so ever since then, I'm like yo, these guys are real ones. Um, nice build, but worse controls. Yeah, the Reflex Lab controls are slightly odd as well. It's not that they're bad; it's that they, they, it took a little getting used to for me. Um, oh my god, I love this song when you're working for Tom Nook. God, Nintendo music. So good. Gas yeah, station tones. Absolutely. I can't scream it super loud because it's uh it's almost 1 a.m. over here, guys. We are East Coast. I watched a vid to check the accuracy of most fun. Yeah. I will say for the longest time, I whatever the app is on Android, the light I think it's called Light Meter Free. <laughs> whatever that one is, I've been using that one for the longest time. And uh the Reflex Lab one that they sent me, I'm gonna make, that's gonna be another one of the videos in the next few weeks. This roll right here, like I said, is all from that uh, light meter. Um, that is the first like dedicated light meter I've ever had, so. But yeah, I will say having a dedicated light meter is pretty sick because I don't know. When I'm shooting film, I really don't want to be screwing around with my phone. So, anything that can kind of... I will also say, I think that's kind of a life thing for me now, is <laughs> the less I can be on my phone, the better. I'm really uh, kind of over it. My phone is from the Mesozoic era, and those of you who saw me at the, the New York event might have noticed that it's all cracked and, like... I'm that friend that has the really fucked up phone. So that's kind of another reason that I haven't been using it as much lately. <laughs> but the biggest reason why I don't upgrade is, uh, oh, is um, I really don't want to reconfigure all my two-factor authentication stuff. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I also wasn't using my phone much because we were just living in the moment. We were just being precious eggies together, you know? We were in that elevator shaft. <laughs> Remember when I shot that roll of film in that camera that didn't have a roll of film in it? That was pretty cool. Oh, you can carry that. So the other <laughs> the other caveat, the other wrinkle with my phone is the, uh, the USB-C port doesn't work, so... Like, if I went to Verizon and had them plug it in, they would be in for a rude awakening because you can't plug anything in. <laughs> yeah, Keith, I, yeah. <laughs> My phone's getting there. It's not quite that bad yet. But Although I will say, they redid the shuttle to Times Square, and that looks immaculate. But yeah, most of the six trains are... My phone's pretty six train ready. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I sh yeah. <laughs> you know, I will say about that event, at least you know, like, my, my, that's just how my brain works. It's not like I'm putting on an act for these videos. Just head empty, no worky. Honestly, Nintendo music, I feel like, describes what's going on in my brain pretty accurately. This shot kind of sucks. 
Oh, I love this song. Fun fact, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, this is the song that plays in my house. And if you watch Tales from Poopers, you know this is the song that's in, uh, in Sweet's house. My character's name is Sweet. Holy heck, I did not- yeah, unfortunately we're, we're coming to a close soon, but, uh, I'm, I'm trying to start doing this more regularly on the channel, because I, I do enjoy editing photos um, in the presence of humans, because I feel like I get a little nutty when I do it alone. Uh, this These shots, I needed to kill this role because we were going to the airport the next day, and I just liked that the restaurant was called Little John. Um, it kind of gave me Waffle House vibes. It wasn't nearly as good as a Waffle House, because obviously Waffle House is life, but... My phone looks... yeah, okay. Uh, Brent has the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I could find a way to do more meetups. Like, I, I don't really travel all that often, so that's kind of part of it, but I do need to make a point of, like, you know, figuring out more eggy meetups, because uh, I think that was... I mean, the, the New York event was so sick, like, we had a good time. Jacob was there too, which was sick because I don't I don't see him very often either. Um, but yeah, that was, that was overall just a very fun time. Cool meeting up with everybody. Yeah, we got well. We got to do the the official Sweet Lou Photography Waffle House tour and go to every Waffle House in the country. We won't stop until we've been to every Waffle House. Little John has a restaurant. That's that's oh, these are some gas station tones, guys. This was right next to the motel, so I I had to. There was no, there was no way. So another f fun fact over here, they had a uh, alcoholic monster, the energy drink. Very strange. Did not taste very good. Oh, I use this song in videos pretty regularly. This is an excellent example of head empty, no thoughts. This is music to not have a brain to. Honestly, yeah. Okay, wait, I gotta go back a little, sorry. Uh, if I recall, camera... Yeah, I think... Yeah, someone posted that in the Discord, I think. I don't remember when that is. I feel like October? Um, but I'll try and go to that. That's cool. I, mean, I don't think I've been to any of their events. <clears throat> and uh, the other one, uh, I actually met the guy randomly. Uh, New York City Film Club. They, uh, I got the rain going in this one too. Um, they, s I want to say they sell film and they develop film. And uh, they do photo walks every now and then. I think their handle is just... New York NYC Film Club. Um, cool dude. We I was shooting some photos in Long Island City with one of my friends and uh we just we ended up just walking together for a little bit. But yeah, was, that's like the best when you're you know, when you're shooting and you just kind of organically meet someone else who's into it and you kinda of just hit it off, have a couple beers. Do I prefer shooting smaller gas stations or would you uh, okay, so a goal of mine, fun fact, is to go to a Bucky's because I've never been to a Bucky's and I would absolutely shoot a Bucky's in a heartbeat. Um, Sheets, I've also never been to, but I do know what Sheets is because I have family in Pennsylvania and there's that big Sheets versus Wawa debate, which weirdly had that conversation earlier today, so I'm surprised that came up again. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I've never been to a Bucky's. I've always wanted to go to a Bucky's. Especially with how many, like, people on YouTube have made videos of, like, I went to Bucky's! And it's, like, a phenomenon that I just don't, I don't fully understand. And that's pretty cool. So I want to go. Can I put this shit? Yo, if I, I don't know if this is in the future. Um, if I ever did make a Lightroom preset pack, I would have to name all the presets after different gas stations. So, like, if it was themed for, like, a beach, that would be the Shell preset. 
If it was like for a shiny oil spill, it would be BP. <laughs> That's a really funny idea. When's the next beers encounter? I would have to look on Instagram. I want to say it's in October though. Uh, I'm from Oceanside, New York. That's cool. That's awesome. That's in Queens, right? Or Long Island? I forget. No, I'll go with that area. My friends in Long Island City, and I have a, I have some family in Flushing as well. Long Island, okay, that's cool. I have a lot of friends near like Hicksville and stuff in Long Island. Long Island's cool. I don't particularly love driving there though. <laughs> Alright, we can't we can't be waltzing right now though. I do love the Animal Crossing soundtrack, but we're gonna jump ahead. We're gonna jump uh to here. Oh no. An ad. Very cringe. Very unprofessional, sorry. There we go. Okay, guys. We've recovered, everything is fine. Yeah, I'm about it. Maybe next, maybe next time we'll we'll stick with the Animal Crossing a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been very real. It's been a very real episode. Maybe eventually I'll start preparing like topics to discuss. You know, like we can talk about photo news or. Honestly, I kind of enjoy the fact that we're talking about everything but photos. <laughs> Kind of fun to like just shoot the shit while you do this. That was a cool view. Whenever we do hikes like this, I'm always the guy who's like, when I see people taking selfies, I offer to take their picture. And this this was no exception. There are these three women like doing a selfie right near the edge, and there was like a part of me that was just like, bro, do not do not fall. Like, uh, sweet yo, fun cooker. Actually, uh, I have a. I, well, I did four episodes of a podcast on this channel. It's called Sweet Talk, and uh, each one was with another, uh, like, YouTube photo or creator. Actually, Noptop was in an episode. Um, an episode with s an episode with Running Gun, an episode with, uh, do I underexpose that one pretty bad? Um, he was going by the name Authentic Aesthetic at the time, but... Uh, Jam, Jam Stills was on one right when COVID started and we were playing Animal Crossing and we were both like, oh, this is, what's this COVID thing? Like, it was like in February or something and we had no clue and we were just like, yeah, it's like, yeah it'll be over in a couple minutes. It was pretty funny. Yeah, please let me take your photo. This is a cry for help. It's more like, uh, you know, I was like offered to do it for them. Uh, were they hot? That's, uh, <laughs> next question. Uh, they were nice people. They are very kind. There was also a bunch of, like, old people that I helped out, too. Uh, and yeah, I will say, going back to the podcast thing, the episode I did with Run and Gun I thought was really good. Um, because at the time, Run and Gun was working for the uh the u.s space force so we had like a conversation of what the space force actually is and why it's important and he had this whole talk about like debris floating in space and how like critical that is for spaceship launches and stuff and we had this tracker showing like all the debris in our atmosphere um i thought it was really interesting i, I was really happy with that episode and like three people watched it so Definitely worth a listen, in my opinion. I know I'm a little biased because it's my shit, but... But yeah. <laughs> they were, in fact, not hot. <laughs> That's very rude. Yeah, space debris is creepy, for sure. And I like space in general, so... You know, as evidenced by these. I'm a big fan, but... uh yeah, his involvement in that program was very interesting. And just, you know, I, I know him 
through YouTube, so it was cool to just kind of... That was like a conversation that I never would have been able to have had it not been for YouTube, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. but yeah. I hope they recover the Hasselblad is on the moon and see if they can... That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. I love the, the... You know, they shot this on the moon meme. Also, I'm always a big fan of that. Okay, before we call this quits, my question is, is, can you do a double exposure in Lightroom natively? Are we allowed to do this? Stacking, no, no, that's... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I've never done it before. I don't know if you can. Photo merge? I feel like this is going to go horribly wrong, so let's try it. This Animal Crossing song is kind of perfect for it, too. This looks like a good one. We're, we're doing virtual copies. This is non-destructive. Oh, that's the wrong key. All right, and we're going to go to Photo Merge, and we're going to click on HDR. <laughs> Unable to merge. No, you're fine. Stop it. All right, we're going to do Panorama. Let's see what happens here, huh? Oh, man. Unable. Oh, come on. You're like, oh, it doesn't match. Binge. I, yeah, Capricorn, honestly. I, that might have to be the move. I just don't, I gotta resize it for this window. Oh, well. Let's do edit in Photoshop. All right, so when Photoshop opens, um, it might be all like weirdly off screen. So just bear with me a sec. I'm gonna have to resize it because I have like I have a big ass monitor. So like, what you're seeing is only like it's like two thirds of my desktop. There we go. Oh really? You put them on two separate documents? Why would you do that? Oh wait, I literally just said I'm gonna resize this so you guys can see it. And then I just like immediately was like, oh, I'm just gonna, gonna start. Okay. How's that look? I bet that looks good. Beautiful. I haven't updated to the, uh, the big classic AI thing. Cause that's another video that I'd like to make is like using that AI like fill tool. All right, I'm sorry. I don't remember who exactly was asking for the double exposure, but that's what we're doing. We're going to finish out the stream with a nice double exposure. Question is, who goes? Oh, ooh, interesting. Ooh, huh. Bruh. Hold up, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Dude, that's kind of sick. Mask it. Mask what? Hashtag no. Make, yeah. I'm not going to lie, Capricorn. That was kind of the, uh, that was kind of the secret plan as well, is, uh, more birds. What, what's the mask, though? Uh, yeah, the birds, yeah. The lack of bird is a problem, but this looks cool as brick. I kind of I kind of like that a whole lot. All right. While Infernal Capricorn is uh talking about the next move, we're going to do God's work. Oh. Ooh. It's, listen, Photoshop, you got to settle down. I don't know if you guys can tell I don't use Photoshop all that often. More of a Lightroom kind of guy, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. One does not simply feather. <laughs> 
I love the idea right now of like <laughs> someone just stumbling upon this stream to like <laughs> to seeing this. And if that happens, everyone has to play it cool and be like, wow, that's really good. <laughs> Like, everyone has to act like this is, like, the best shit ever. <laughs> Guys, we're creating a colony. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, this, the second, the second, some, if, if someone comes in, we have to really be ghoulish. We have to be freaks. Start playing the demonic chanting from Doom. And we'll all just start chanting bird over and over again. Uh, for we have successfully put a bird on it. I think this looks really good. <laughs> what if we just replace them with a bird too? What do you think, guys? I think we've done it. <laughs> Birds for Lord Barthel. I'm all about it. This, honestly, I think I've peaked, guys. And we're just gonna... Let's make this a little better. Uh, yeah! There we go. It's gotta be in... Uh, go... Good, and we want that like a little off center, you know. Kind of like that. I think that looks good. You know, you could be right. I think we do need more birds, honestly. But first, just hang on. Maybe this will just be a. Uh... We'll just make this. Sweet Lou Photography merch. We'll make the bird up, the bird up collection. <laughs> Alright, this Animal Crossing music's like not hidden right now. What is this? What song is this? What is this? I don't even recognize this one. Oh, Fireworks Festival, okay. Oh, guys, the next song is 1 a.m. That's how perfect is that? All right, yeah, more birds, I think, is the answer, though. Let's do a couple more. Because this quadrant right here is looking kind of birdless. Noptop, you're really good at Photoshop. What do you think of my Photoshop skills? <laughs> this is, yeah, honestly, whenever someone does generative fill in photoshop it literally just cuts to me and i just go you know what would be good if we added some birds to it that's what i that's what i think hello oh the has to go under the other guys come on come on very birdy some yeah fun cooker's right this is the uh this oh nuke them bird yep Yep, yep. Mushroom Cloud PNG. Okay. Bear with me a second, guys. I want to get one that actually has, like, the Adobe checkerboard background. Because I think that'll be very aesthetic. Okay, right, good. We'll take this. We're going to put this. <laughs> I think like right there maybe and then I think we do is we maybe multiply that yeah yep and then maybe we'll just put it a little lower no 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 there it is what do you guys think do you... <laughs> I do want to copy that yeah I, I'll listen I'll export this shit Can I, can we just take a second to discuss the duality of man that we went from this to this? <laughs> this is why you watch the Sweet Lou show. And these are the, the real ones are here right now. 
Yeah, maybe I'll just throw this one in the Discord and just write, see what you missed. But, uh, I think, I think my career has peaked, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put this in general. That's, I think that's fair. What else, I feel like it's miss. Uh, there's like this blank space here. There's like a blank canvas, if you will. Talk about content. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what it needs, guys. It needs my signature. Yeah. Oop. Put a new layer up. I don't like the exclamation point. Let's get that out of there. Okay, the Family Guy chicken probably needs to go in here. <laughs> uh, this is... This is very good. We're gonna put him in really small, though. Maybe not that... I don't think Darken is what Squidward needed on his best day ever. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Alright. Last one. We'll yeah, we'll we'll add uh we'll add Mr. Murphy. I thought he was excellent in Oppenheimer. I need to find a good photo though, hang on. Needs to. He, I really need him to look quite derpy. I don't know why, but he kind of reminded me of Matthew McConaughey in Oppenheimer, in the good way. That's not like a dig. He kind of. I when I was watching him, I kind of felt like he could be. Uh, he could have played Rusty in uh, season one of True Detective. Don't worry, guys, he's not going over my signature. Oh, wait, no, but that might be confusing. That might think, uh, people might think that's me. Okay, wait, I know it, guys, I know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just gotta mask out his body. Can you, uh, get out of the transform tool? Thank you. Good, excellent. Excellent, guys. You know, I probably should be using a feathered brush. What am I doing? Uh, I think I want a little bit of his hand in there, though. Alright. Alright. Guys? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he got... Really? I don't think I realized that. 28 Days Later is a sick movie, though. He must have been pretty young when that movie came out then. 10 out of 10. Yeah. We got it. Yeah, it's perfect. Honestly, I don't think I could do better than that. This, uh... <laughs> I love how many, like, people dropped out when this section started. We were, like, up at, like, 11, and now it's, like, 7. That's fine, because we're, we're sorting it down to the real ones. Excellent news. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah. And honestly, very excited how this one came out. This was... I, mean, I could definitely scroll up and figure out who, but whoever asked for that double exposure, thank you for the suggestion, because I am very, very happy with how this one turned out. Yeah, this is my capstone work. Thank you, Charlie. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah. This, I might need to clip this section out and make like a little standalone video on the channel and be like, see what you're missing? Look what you're, <laughs> look what you're missing. <laughs> Just sent one million dollar super chat. Thank you, Noptop. Yeah, maybe one day I'll set up super chats and then Noptop can pay me a million dollars for this high art. Only true photography. Yeah, honestly, the real ones. Watch this. Fun cooker. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. What are you, what are you talking about? Thanking me. This is... I'm really stoked about. I'm not. In, I might mask out the uh, the horizon line there, but other than that, I love how this looks. I think it's super cool. All right, guys. Well, 
I'm gonna leave you on this on this note. Bird up. I uh, I will. Yeah, I will. Uh, throw, YouTube takes forty percent. Yeah. All right. So he'll have to deliver it in separate. You know. Oh wait, no, I misunderstood that. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. Naptop's good for it. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> ten out of ten, Owen. Yo, you're a real one. I haven't done the Owen Wilson Wild thing in a minute. Uh, hell yeah! Thank you guys for watching, for being here. It's I don't know what time it is by you guys, but well, I know some of you, some of you are in New York. But uh, one eleven. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, and yeah, this will be on the channel, the VOD, you know, and I, I probably will clip out this little ending thing because that is that is sufficiently fun. All right, guys, thank you, fun cooker, thank you. I will attempt to continue the the good work in your words, not mine. Appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And before I get out of here, I'm gonna leave a link to the other channel because uh, I've been uploading some silly gaming things there. Where I've been doing a lot of weird shit with uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So if you haven't played it, you know, maybe maybe be careful watching. But uh, I love that game immensely. And uh, I'll share this with you. There you go. There it is. All right. All right, guys. It's been real. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.